Sometimes while you're working on your Excel document, you need to connect a certain cell or a certain information into a certain document, a certain folder, maybe a picture, maybe a hyperlink, a website, and so on. Now we will learn how to use hyperlinks in Excel in an efficient way and how to make it serve the purpose of your document. Again, we have here the sales invoice tracker and we have the invoices dash main as a sheet. Let's see here we have a company, we have invoice date, we have project description. Let's say for this company, we need to be able to connect that cell to the website of that company or could be to the link where you can message that company if needed or maybe you want to uh, connect this project number two to a certain folder or a certain document that you need the user or the guy who's reviewing your work to be able to pull up the data needed related to that project or to that company. What we're gonna do, we need to use hyperlinks. In this case, we go right click on the cell that we need to create a hyperlink that's related to. In this case, Contoso Company and we go all the way down to link, hit on this arrow. You can choose either directly, you can choose from your recent items or you can insert a link. Now you're able to insert either a web address in the address over here, or you can scroll through until you find the document or the folder that you want it to be hyperlinked to that specific cell. In this case, let's say Contoso have a website online. For the sake of the example, we will use google.com. We want to be able, when we click on that cell, to take us to this web address. Hit OK. Now your cell is linked. How you know? By hovering over that cell, you will be able to see a hand sign if you are using a Windows operating system. You see there's a hand sign in some cases or in older versions of Excel. You can see the text as a blue or sometimes it just change the text as a blue when you save and open the document again. So you will know it's hyperlinked. In some cases it will have underline with a blue text. Then you know it's hyperlinked. But when we hover over it, you can see he's showing you HTTP, uh, semicolon, www.google.com. So if you click on it, then you'll be able to go to google.com or for the link of that company in your case. Click on it. You can see he took us right away to google.com. We're not interested in that. It's just for the sake of showing the possibility of doing a hyperlink. As you can see, the moment we clicked on it, the text changed into kind of a bluish color. And uh, again, to confirm that the hyperlink is active, you can see there is the arrow being changed as a hand icon when you click on it will take you uh, in some cases like in word program or in some cases with excel with some limitations or predicted sheets maybe he will tell you click control on the keyboard and hit on the left mouse to be able to go to that link whatever he's telling you um, with that message that you need to follow but in most cases when you just click on it, it will take you wherever it takes you uh, let's say we have detail total over here, right click, we can say insert a link. So you can see here, you can choose either existing file or web page. You can choose a place in this document. So you can go to a different tab by clicking on this, on this cell. So let's say your invoices, detail total, maybe there's a number that's related or that's important or related to that number. In the previous sheet or previous tab, you can choose that as well. So you can choose a place in this document. You can choose when you click on that cell to go back to invoice details or to the tab of customers. Let's try to do the customer thing. Now we click on it. You see, we go back to the tab of customers and uh, you go back to it, click on it, it will take you back to the tab of customers. It's a way to connect the data and make it more interactive and related to each other as your project needs. Let's go again to that list. You can see you can create a new document by clicking on that. Like let's say right now I want to create a new document and be able to link it as a hyperlink to that cell. You can do that or you can choose an email address. Let's say you have here email addresses of the guys responsible from that company, 
then you can put the email address the subject and the recently used email addresses will be shown in here you hit ok so when you click on it, it will take you right away to a screen to whatever host you're using to hold your emails within your operating system and you'll be able to write an email right away to him just to make your life easy so i hope that's useful about hyperlinks um, hyperlinks are getting less and less famous within excel sheets uh, but still uh, it's a powerful tool and uh, when you are learning about pivot tables and creating a user interface using excel and macros um, that's where the place you use more hyperlinks and more linking between the tabs, the sheets, and the documents, and even the websites and uh, the web addresses.